So we're on chapter 11. And Sarah Purnima going to work? Yes, today is going ultimate day. Hmm? Al alternate? Yeah, yes, not every day. Not every day, alternate days. No work, yeah? Yes. Is there many roadblocks in Bangkok? Yeah, the case is increasing again so yeah but they announced the school will open from next month next high month. school next month yes but we don't know if there will be any change or not but they just announced it today but the universities are closed yes they are they're having online classes Now it's holiday though, so Madhuri is on holiday, right? Yes. Antaranga has gone to Nepal. Is Bankeg open? Um, not, not yet. Not yet. Okay, so we can begin? Yes. All right. Om Ajnana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militanjena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shanyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasati Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So we welcome everyone to our ongoing study of the Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> This is under the supervision of the founder Acharya, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Mm. There's some obscure verse. Gita Dita Chayena Pi Bhakti Bhavena Chaitasa Veda Shastra Purana Ni Tena Ditani Sagvasha. The study of the Vedas and Puranas, verily, the study of all scriptures, is completed in all respects by one who studies the Gita with devotion. <laughs> So this evening we're going on to chapter number 11, which is entitled The Universal Form, or often called the Vishwarup. So here's text number three. O greatest of all personalities, O supreme form, though I see you here before me in your actual position, as you have described yourself, I wish to see how you have entered into this cosmic manifestation. I want to see that form of yours. Oh, 
ลายโอรูปลักษ์สูงสุดถึงแม้ข้าพเจ้าเห็นอยู่ต่อหน้านาที่นี้ในสถานภาพอันแท้จริงของพระองค์ดังที่ทรงอธิบายเกี่ยวกับตัวพระองค์เองข้าพเจ้าปรารถนาจะเห็นว่าพระองค์ทรงเสด็จเข้าไปในปรากฏการณ์ทางจักรวาลได้อย่างไรข้าพเจ้าปรารถนาเห็นรูปลักษณ์นั้น So in the previous chapter which was remember vibhuti yoga the opulences of the absolute Lord Krishna had described some 82 of his different opulences. So Arjuna had heard about Krishna's opulences. Now we will see in this chapter he's asking Lord Krishna to show his opulences. เมื่อพระองค์ทรงอธิบายเกี่ยวกับความมั่งคั่งของพระองค์เนี่ยตอนนี้เนี่ยอรจุนาก็เลยกำลังขอร้องให้พระองค์เนี่ยทรงแสดงให้ท่านเห็นถึงความมั่งคั่งของพระองค์ says I wish to see how you've entered into this cosmic manifestation บอกว่าข้าพเจ้าอยากทราบว่าพระองค์เนี่ยทรงเข้ามาในปรากฏการทางจักรวาลนี้ได้อย่างไร so Arjuna wants Arjuna himself, he's a devotee, and he's satisfied to see Krishna in his personal feature. But there are people who deride Krishna, who don't accept Krishna as the supreme personality, and for their sake. Arjuna wants Krishna to show his universal form. And by Krishna, when Krishna shows his universal form, then he will establish his himself. Uh, not just only by philosophy, but by practical, by actual demonstrating, by actually showing himself as the supreme. So going ahead to text number seven and then number eight, we see Krishna replying to Arjuna. He's saying, "O oh Arjuna, whatever you wish to see, behold at once in this body of mine. This universal form can show you whatever you now desire to see, and whatever you may want to see in the future. Everything." Moving and non-moving is here, complete in one place. But you cannot see me with your present eyes. Therefore, I give you divine eyes. Behold my mystic opulence. Oh, Arjuna, ที่เธอปรารถนาจะเห็นจงดูในร่างนี้ของข้าได้ทันทีรูปลักษณ์จักรวาลนี้สามารถแสดงทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างที่เธอปรารถนาจะเห็นณบัดนี้และทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างที่เธอปรารถนาจะเห็นในอนาคตทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างที่เคลื่อนที่และไม่เคลื่อนที่ได้มาอยู่ณที่นี้อยู่ในสถานที่เดียวโดยสมบูรณ์แต่เธอไม่สามารถเห็นค่าด้วยดวงตาปัจจุบันของเธอดังนั้นค่าจะให้จัดสูตรทิพย์แด่เธอจงดูอิทธิฤทธิ์ความมั่งคั่งของข้า So Krishna is describing some of the features of this universal form which he is showing to Arjuna. Krishna ก็กำลังจะอธิบายนะคะในส่วนของรูปลักษณ์จักรวาลที่กำลังจะแสดงให้อรจุนาเห็น That although Arjuna is in one place, he is able to see everything from all over, from everywhere. ถึงแม้อรจุนาจะอยู่ในที่เดียวเนี่ยแต่เขาจะสามารถเห็นทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างได้ 
And whatever Arjuna wants to see, and whatever he wants to, would like to see in the future, he will see it in that universal form. But Krishna said, you, want, you cannot see it with your present eyes. I have to give you special eyes, divine eyes. So although Krishna and Arjuna were at Kurukshetra in the middle of the battlefield and they were surrounded by many, many, many soldiers and the different armies were all there, only Krishna and Arjuna could see the universal form. But it could also be seen by Sanjay, and Sanjay is describing it to Dhritarashtra, who is blind. And all the demigods were also able to see it. So, without having the blessings of Lord Krishna, you cannot see this universal form. So you need to you need to get the blessings of Krishna before you can see it. We cannot see it just by our own efforts. But a devotee doesn't have any desire to see this universal form. Because devotee is so happy just to see Krishna in his two arm form. Going ahead to text number 10 and 11. Arjuna saw in that universal form unlimited mouths, unlimited eyes, unlimited wonderful visions. The form was decorated with many celestial ornaments and, and bore many divine upraised weapons. He wore celestial garlands and garments and many divine scents were smeared over his body. All was wondrous, brilliant, unlimited, all expanding. So we're getting So we're being giving a description of this universal form and you can see it's very personal. There are ornaments and there's scents smeared over the body. So it, it's obviously the Lord, the, the universal form has a form. It's not without form. And the many eyes and many mouths. So <laughs> that means the, the Lord is a person and he has senses. He can see and he can eat. So 
ซึ่งนั่นหมายความว่าพระองค์เนี่ยมีสามารถกินได้สามารถมอง wearing garlands and garments. He has he, he's a form. It's not without form. แล้วพระองค์ก็ทรงมีพวงมาลัยนะคะทรงมีเครื่องประดับนั่นหมายความว่าพระองค์มีรูปลักษ์ So Arjuna is able to see this form. Arjuna ก็ได้เห็นรูปลักษ์นี้ของพระองค์ Text 13 goes on to describe more of what Arjuna could see. At that time, Arjuna could see in the universal form of the Lord the unlimited expansions of the universe, situated in one place, although divided into many, many thousands. <laughs> สิ้นสุดของจักรวาลสถิตณที่เดียวถึงแม้ว่าแบ่งแยกออกไปเป็นหลายหลายพัน So the universe also of course has its origin and all comes from the supreme lord Krishna Krishna had said in earlier verses that he is the source of the material and the spiritual world เพราะฉะนั้นอย่างที่คริชนาทรงอธิบายก่อนหน้านี้มาแล้วนะคะว่าพระองค์เนี่ยทรงเป็นแหล่งกำเนิดของทั้งโลกทิพย์และโลกวัตถุ And in the chapter 10 Lord Krishna had described some of his opulences but here in this universal form he's revealing the, the, the extent of his opulences that his opulences are actually unlimited แล้วก็ในบทที่20เนี่ยพระองค์ก็ทรงอธิบายถึงความมั่งคั่งของพระองค์ไปบ้างแล้วในบางส่วนแต่ว่าในบทที่11เนี่ยพระองค์ก็ทรงอธิบายเพิ่มเติมแทนแสดงให้ดูอีกด้วย And the universe is described as also expanding unlimitedly แล้วก็ได้อธิบายว่ารูปลักษณ์จักรวาลของพระองค์เนี่ยก็ก็ขยายแพร่ขยายไปแบบไม่มีคิดจำกัด So When Arjuna sees all this, Arjuna wants to speak to Lord Krishna to offer prayers about what he's seeing. So Arjuna says, My dear Lord Krishna, I see assembled in your body all the demigods and various other living entities. I see Brahma sitting on the lotus flower, as well as Lord Shiva and all the sages and divine serpents. Arjuna t r a v a s r i Krishna t i r a t k a b a j a o h e n m u a n t e v a d a l e m u a n s i n g m i s h i v i t m a r u a m k a n y u n a i p a w a r a k a i k o n g p r a o n g k a b a j a o h e n p r a p r o n g s o n g p r a t a b y u b o n d o k b u a p r o m t a n g p r a s i v a So you can understand from this verse that Lord Krishna is the source of Brahma and Lord Shiva. They both come from Him, and all the demigods they also come from Him. Lord Brahma is a position. It's given to a, a very elevated, pious being, who becomes Lord Brahma, and we have different Brahmas in each universe. And similarly, all the demigods; these are pious living entities who are given the position of a demigod. So Arjuna saw all these things. Here's more. Arjuna speaking more of what he sees. He says, "O oh, mighty armed one, all the planets." With their demigods are disturbed at seeing your great form, 
with its many faces, eyes, arms, thighs, legs, and bellies, and your many terrible teeth, and as they are disturbed, so am I. <laughs> So we see now that Arjuna's mood has changed a bit. In the beginning, when he first saw the form of the universe, the, the universal form, Arjuna was filled with wonder. But now he's seeing this form, he's filled with fear, it's, it's not so pleasing to him. Because, because Lord Krishna is going to show the form of time to Arjuna. But you can see from the description of this universal form how the Lord has met, has senses. He has faces, eyes, arms, legs. So, this form of the universe is for materialistic people who are not able to understand the divine nature of the Supreme Lord. Srila Shri Prabhupada describes it, the universal form, as a godless display of opulence. God, godless means no God. Without God, but opulence without God, a godless display of opulence. So this universal form impresses the the, the materialistic people, but it's it, it's not pleasing to the devotee. The devotee enjoys loving personal relationships with Krishna. So just to see only this powerful display of opulence is not satisfying to a devotee. Going ahead to text number 26 and 27, <clears throat> because Krishna has, Krishna is showing the Kala Roop, so he's showing the future Kala. Kala means time, the form of time. So, so in this form of time, Arjuna is able to see the future. Mm -hmm. 
So translation, all the sons of Dhritarashtra along with their allied kings and Bhishma, Drona, Karna and our chief soldiers also are rushing into your fearful mouths and some I see trapped with heads smashed between your teeth. ดีตราสตราทั้งหมดและเหล่าพระสัตว์พันธมิตรรวมทั้งบิชมาโดนาคารณะรวมทั้งพร้อมทั้งพูดนำทหารของพวกเราด้วยทั้งหมดรีบเ
but he's become bewildered when he saw Krishna's form of time. It was very frightening to see everybody die. And they were dying, they were all entering into the mouth of Krishna and his Krishna's teeth were smashing them. So now Arjuna is asking Krishna two questions. He said, I want to know who you are and I want to know what is your mission. So, here's Krishna's reply. Krishna says, this, the Supreme Personality of Godhead said, Time, I am the great destroyer of the worlds, and I have come here to destroy all people. With the exception of you, the Pandavas, all the soldiers here on both sides will be slain. <laughs> So, this is a very famous uh, statement of Lord Krishna, often quoted by people. And Krishna says, I am time. Of course, Krishna is time, but he's also much more than time also. So Krishna says he is time and he has he and his mission is to destroy all the people. And he tells the Pandavas, all the soldiers, both sides, they're all going to die. He said many millions of people died during the battle of Kurukshetra. Before the appearance of Lord Krishna, Mother Earth had gone to pray to Lord Brahma for help because she was so burdened by all the demonic kings on her planet. So, Lord Brahma then went and prayed to Lord Vishnu in Swetadweep. And Lord Vishnu told Brahma that soon he was going to come on the earth and that this, he was going to take birth in the Yadu dynasty. And all the demigods should also go there and take birth in the Yadu dynasty. However, we should understand that Krishna who comes 5,000 years ago, Krishna comes is not just an avatar, but he is the original personality of Godhead. And he, he comes 
to deliver, to give pleasure to his devotees. That's his real purpose in coming. The demons, they can be killed without him coming, but he has to come to give pleasure to his devotees. And then Krishna gives an instruction to Arjuna. Krishna says, Therefore, get up, prepare to fight and win glory, conquer your enemies and enjoy a flourishing kingdom. They are already put to death by my arrangement. On you, O Savyasachi, can be but an instrument in the fight. So Savyasachi is one of the names of Arjuna. It means one who is very expert in firing arrows. Arjuna was the, ex was the best student of Dronacharya. Dronacharya had trained him. And Dronacharya had blessed him that he would be the best archer. So Krishna is reminding him and he's telling him, just be an instrument in the fight. This is an important statement that we should, our, we should be a, an instrument in the service of Krishna. Krishna is the doer, we are just the instruments in his service. So we should pray to Krishna, please let me be a good instrument in your service. Okay, text number 45. After seeing this universal form, which I have never seen before, I am glad, I am gladdened, but at the same time, my mind is di disturbed with fear. Therefore, please bestow your grace upon me and reveal again your form as the personality of Godhead, O Lord of Lords, O Abode of the Universe. So Krishna had shown first the universal form to Arjuna, which was impressive and it, be, it was it filled Arjuna with wonder. And then he showed his form of time, and that was very frightening to Arjuna. So Arjuna is asking Krishna, 
oh, please show me your form as, as the personality of Godhead. I don't want to see these other forms. So, Krishna, uh, Krishna shows first to Arjuna, he shows, he shows Krishna, Krishna shows his four-handed form to Arjuna, where he's holding the, the uh, conch shell and the club and the lotus flower and the Sudarshan chakra. And then, after he showed the forearm form, then he showed Arjuna his original two-handed form. So it's described in text number 51. When Arjuna thus saw Krishna in his original form, he said, O oh Janardhan, seeing this human-like form so very beautiful, I am now composed in mind and I am restored to my original nature. So, this is an important point in Bhagavad Gita. Lord Krishna is showing that within his two-handed form, there is also other forms like the four-handed form of Vishnu as well as the universal form and the form of time. So Krishna is the original form, the two-handed form of Krishna is the original form and all of these other forms come from Krishna. Sometimes people think that, oh, this two-handed form of Krishna, this is coming from the Brahman. And some people think that the four-handed form of Vishnu is greater than the two-handed form of Krishna. But we should understand the original form of Godhead is Krishna in his two-handed form. And that's why Arjuna was so happy when he saw Krishna in his two-handed form. And he said here, this human-like form, so very beautiful, and Arjuna felt peaceful and happy. Now going on to text number 54. My dear Arjuna, only by undivided devotional service can I be understood as I am, standing before you, and can thus be seen directly. Only in this way can you enter into the mysteries of my understanding. ไปกันต่อนะคะในสโลกที่ 54 
ที่เธอสามารถเข้าไปในความเล้นลับแห่งการเข้าใจค่ะ So if we want to understand Krishna, we have to first of all become pure devotees. And we have to render pure devotional service. Then Krishna can reveal himself to us. We we cannot understand Krishna by our own efforts. But when Krishna is pleased with us, then he can reveal himself to us. So this is the mystery of understanding Krishna. We cannot know Krishna just by doing karma, or just by having great knowledge, or just by having been a great yogi, but only by devotion. When we possess pure devotion, then we can, then we become qualified to actually understand Krishna. And here's the final verse of this chapter, text number fifty-five. Mat karma krin mat paramo mat bhakta sanga varchita nirvaira sarva bhuteshu ya samam iti pandava. My dear Arjuna, he who engages in my pure devotional service, free from the contamination of fruitive activities and mental speculation, he who works for me, he who makes me the supreme goal of his life. And who is friendly to every living being, he certainly comes to me. สรุปสุดท้ายของบทนี้นะคะพิชาตรัสว่าอรจุนาที่รักผู้ปฏิบัติในการอุทิศตนเสียสละรับใช้ค่าด้วยความบริสุทธิ์ใจเป็นอิสระจากมลทินแห่งกิจกรรมเพื่อผลทางวัตถุและการคาดคะเนทางจิตผู้ที่ทำงานให้แก่ค่ามีค่าเป็นจุดมุ่งหมายสูงสุดในชีวิตและเป็นมิตรกับทุกๆชีวิตแน่นอนว่าเขาจะมาหันค่า So s h i l a Prabhupada said this verse is the essence of the Bhagavad Gita. s h i l a Prabhupada บอกว่าสรุปนี้นะคะเป็นเหมือนสาระสำคัญเป็นเหมือนศาสตร์ของพระกวัตคิตา We have to do pure devotional service. เราจะต้องปฏิบัติการฤทธิ์ต้นเสียสละรับใช้ And, and that, that means service without desire for liberation or for any material benefit. Just like Prabhupada used to say. Devotional, pure devotional service means to stop doing business with Krishna. When you do business, you give the goods. You want the money. But but here a devotee just wants to give service to Krishna without anything getting anything back. So Prabhupada says, he describes about the devotee. He said, he 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 who works for me. So devotee is not idle. He works for Krishna. ตรงนี้ได้อธิบายไปว่าสาวผู้ที่ทำงานให้ค่าคือชนะบอกไหมก็คือส
He said, if you have some money, you can build a house and you can go and live there. And, but the house is Krishna's house, it's not your house. Yeah, yeah, you make it a temple of Krishna, so it's Krishna's temple, it's not your house. But you can live there. And the supreme goal of life is Krishna. Do we want to get love of Krishna? And we want to be friendly to every living being. We see Krishna in everyone. So we think how to bring them to Krishna consciousness. So when we have that kind of consciousness, then certainly we will be able to go to be with Krishna. All right, and here's one final, here's a, another scene. This is Mother Yashoda looking into the mouth of Krishna, and when she looked into the mouth of Krishna, she could see the, uni the, un the whole universe in Krishna's mouth. Yeah, one day Balaram told Mother Yashoda, Krishna's been eating dirt. So Mother Yashoda was anxious and she asked Krishna, have you been eating dirt? And Krishna said, no, mommy, I haven't been eating dirt. Balaram and the other boys are envious, they're jealous of me, they're arguing with me, they want to complain about me. So then Mother Yashoda said, then come here, let me see inside your mouth. And when Krishna came and opened his mouth, Mother Yashoda looked in his mouth and she saw the whole universe. Mm -hmm. So Mother Yashoda was surprised at first when she saw, she could see within the mouth of Krishna, she could see all the planets and all the, all the, the, all the different stars and she could even see her own self inside Krishna's mouth and she was looking into Krishna's mouth. <laughs> So Mother Yashoda was bewildered at first, but then Krishna used it, covered her with yoga maya, and then he, she took Krishna on her lap and fed her breast milk to Krishna. And similarly, Lord, Lord Chaitanya also showed the universal form one time. Lord Chaitanya was in the home of Srivas Pandit and one night they were having big kirtan and Lord Chaitanya one night he sat on the altar and he showed his universal form to everyone. 
ต้องมีตอนพระองค์เจ้าเจตัญญาทรงแสดงรูปลักษณ์ทรงแสดงรูปลักษณ์จักรวาลก็มีก็มีด้วยนะคะครั้งหนึ่งในตอนลีลาที่บ้านของสรีวาสปอนเดนนะคะท่านก็ไปนั่งบนบันลังและลังจากนั้นท่านก็ทรงแสดงรูปลักษณ์จักรวาลให้ซาวเ So this is the test. If somebody claims to be God, then they have to show the universal form. By Krishna showing the universal form, he is he showed that if you are also God, then you also show the universal form. Here's another verse, which is from also from this eleventh chapter. Arjuna was speaking to Krishna and offering prayers, and he said, "O master of the senses, the world becomes joyful upon hearing your name." And thus, everyone becomes attached to you. นี่ก็เป็นอีกสรุปนะคะจากบทที่สิบเอ็ดสรุปที่สามสิบหกบอกว่าออจุนาตรัสว่าโอ้เจ้าแห่งประสาทสัมผัสทั้งโลกรื่นเริงยินดีที่ได้ยินพระนามของพระองค์ดังนั้นทุกคนจึงมายึดมั่นอยู่ที่พระองค์แม้ว่ามนุษย์ผู้สมบูรณ์ถวายความเคารพแด่พระองค์เหล่ามารกลัวและโลกนี้ไปไปที่นั่นที่นี่ทั้งหมดนี้ได้กระทำไปอย่างถูกต้อง So of course this is a reference to Sankirtan to the Sankirtan movement the chanting of the holy names of the Lord อันนี้นะคะเป็นขบวนการสังเกตตานะคะที่จะสวดภาวนาพระนามของพระชนาไปทุกที่ And Arjuna is describing How in the Kali Yuga, everyone can become attached to Krishna by chanting His holy name. Okay, so now we will have questions. If there are any. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, Dhanamat, Dhanam. Please Har accept my humble obeisances. Yes. Hare Krishna. Ah, Ajana ha, Bhai Ajana ha. Ah, to ตอนนี้พี่คุยกับคุณอามาจิมาตาจีว่าตอนนี้จะ cancel เรื่องอาสาราไปก่อนรอให้ควิดซาก่อนแล้วค่อยทำคนใหม่ค่ะจะได้ตื่นรูปแบบทีนี้พี่มีคำถามสงสัยนะคะว่าถ้าเกิดว่าเราเป็นสาวงแล้วเราไม่ได้ทําบุญบริจาคทานในแง่ของ devotional service ในการแจกแจกพัสดาแต่ว่าไปทําบุญช่วยเหลือผู้ป่วยในรูปแบบของสิ่งของบริจาคหรือว่าซื้ออุปกรณ์การแพทย์อะคะ่ะอันนี้คําถามที่หนึ่งว่าเราสามารถทําได้ไหมและคําถามที่สองก็คือพี่เคยได้ยินมาว่าถ้าเกิดว่าเราไปไปช่วยเหลือผู้ป่วยอย่างเงี้ยค่ะแล้วผู้ป่วยเกิดหายขึ้นมาแล้วก็ทํากรรมชั่วค่ะตรงนี้เราจะได้รับบาปหรือเปล่าอ okay. okay. uh, so uh, like, uh, like the Like they cure with that disease, and they go to do sinful activity and all. But because of our help, they they are okay. So in that case, do we also get the karma? Yes. Do my boy say, "If we help them, and they are okay, we will be a part of the karma. We will be a part of the karma." Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. Okay. And another question was like, uh, should we help people by by maybe not giving them uh, Krishna but giving other facility to them? Can can a devotee do that? Well, 
If somebody wants a devotee to do it, like, you know, sometimes in India, sometimes there would be an earthquake, so sometimes uh, some businessman will come and he will bring a lot of blankets and he will give them to the devotees and devotees will take them and distribute them to the poor people. So if somebody wants to do that kind of thing, and they may ask the devotees to distribute it, so we can distribute it on their behalf. But we do not, we would not like use Krishna's money to do that, to purchase things just to give people. But if somebody gives stuff to us, then we can distribute it. We're, we're a spiritual movement. Our real business is to give spiritual knowledge. We want to save people from birth and death. There are so many other organizations which give material benefit for people. They give food, they give housing, they give uh, medical care, these kind of things. This is not really our main business. Our main business is to educate people in spiritual knowledge. Of course, not everybody wants that kind of education. So we try to give them at least the holy name by Sankirtan, by our chanting of the holy name, that is very beneficial for all people. So devotees like to go everywhere and chant the holy name loudly. Because this is the real cure for the disease of material life. Nothing else is going to save them from taking birth again. But if they chant the holy name, if they hear the holy name, if they awaken some consciousness of Krishna, then that can give them the greatest benefit. Most people are meat eaters, so it's difficult sometimes to give them prasadam. Uh, 
Just like here in India, Prabhupada said to distribute prasadam, they said nobody should go hungry within 10 miles of the temple. But the, the program is that they have to come here, they have to come to the temple and they eat here. And they don't get to take any food away with them. Prabhupada said if they take it home with them, they will mix it with fish or meat. He said that's an offense. And we would suffer also because we gave them the prasadam and they're taking it home, mixing it with meat and eggs and fish. And when they're eating the prasadam, at that time also we're chanting Hare Krishna loudly. So in this way, they get spiritual benefit. But just to give people a box of food, and they don't know it's prasad, they don't know what is prasadam, they don't know who is Krishna. They don't know what is the food, there's no benefit. They may eat it, they may throw it away, then then there's then it's an offense. So we distribute prasadam carefully. We like to distribute prasadam, we like to give prasadam, but we like to do it so that people get spiritual benefit. People should know this is food offered to Krishna. This is not ordinary material food. This is spiritual food, prasada. And, and we teach them to chant the Hare Krishna mantra. Then they can benefit. All right, any other question? Uh, we got two more, uh, three okay. more. Three more questions. Okay. You know, Mataji? Uh, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, and the devotees. Uh, just accept my humble obeisances, O Guru Sushilapada. Uh, why did Arjuna ask Krishna to appear in four-handed form and not in two-handed form in the end of this chapter? Uh, thank you. Arjuna asked to see the form of Krishna. As a, as a personality of Godhead. So Krishna first of all showed him his four-handed form, which is the form of Vishnu. And then Krishna showed him the two-handed form, the original form. 
So by showing the four-handed form, Krishna showed that that four-handed form is included within the two-handed form. Just like if you have one hundred dollar, you have also fifty dollar. It's included within one hundred dollar. So in the same way, the form, the four-handed form of Vishnu is included within the form of Krishna. Yes. Next question. Hare Krishna เอ่อเป็นพ่อแม่เราแล้วก็เป็นลูกเป็นหลานอะไรเงี้ยถ้าเกิดเราให้เขาอ่ะเราจะต้องรับบาปตรงนั้นไหมในในขณะที่มันเ
you, man, you maintain a family, okay, you have, you have a family, you have a responsibility to them, you want to bring them up in Krishna consciousness. That's a very, it's a very difficult thing to do. I know it's very difficult to bring your family up in Krishna consciousness. But if you can bring it from the beginning of life, if your family are being brought up in Krishna consciousness, it's somewhat easier. You bring them up to be vegetarian, you bring them up to also go to temple, they, they read also, they hear the stories of Krishna, so they're, from birth they're like devotees. So to have a family in Krishna consciousness is a great blessing. Because the children help you to become more Krishna conscious. At the same time, attachment has to be there. That, that, that attachment has to be purified. You have to see them in relation to Krishna. The children will grow up and gradually they're not going to be so attached to you and you have to try to give up your attachment to them. And we, the, we can do this by the process of Krishna consciousness, by regularly hearing and chanting. Yeah. Children, when they're small, naturally you're very attached, but as they grow up, the children won't be so attached to you and you will have to also become detached from them. But, but while they're young, you have a duty to try to give them Krishna consciousness. Okay. Any more questions? Yes, good. From from Harini. One more question, right? We have. Yeah. And two more. Two more we have. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Hare Krishna, uh, uh, Guru Maharaj. Uh, 5,000 years ago, uh, uh, Sri Krishna uh, came to earth and uh, showed his universal form um, in his uh, original form. And uh, 500 years ago, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, uh, showed the universal form. So that means uh, Sri Krishna uh, uh, came to earth uh, 500 years ago. Yes, Lord Chaitanya is, an, is Krishna himself. Lord Chaitanya is the combined form of Radha and Krishna. So that means uh, um, in Kali, the 500 years ago, the Kali Yuga started 500 years ago. No, after... Kali Yuga started 5,000 years ago. After Krishna Five. departed, after Krishna left the world, then Kali Yuga began. So even in Kali Yuga, Sri Krishna came in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
Yes, this is described in the scriptures. Yes, okay. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. And, and there's, there's verses like in Srimad Bhagavatam where they were asked, and the Maharaj Nimi was asking uh, the, the nine Yugendras to describe the incarnations of the Lord in each Yuga. And so he described how in the Kali Yuga the Lord comes to teach the chanting of the holy names and to, to do uh, Sankirtan. And it's also mentioned, the same, similar verses there, in the Mahabharata, in the Vishnu Sahasranam of the Mahabharata, it mentions how the Lord will come and in his early life he will be a householder and later on he will take sannyas and he will always be equipoised and peaceful and he will chant the holy name. So a great blessing to do the bhakti uh, by chanting Hare Krishna mantra. Yes, that's process for the Kali Yuga, the chanting of the holy name. Thank you. We can't hear you, Madhuri. Is she mute? Is she muted? Already unmute, oh. but uh, I don't know why we are not hearing her. Can she type the question in chat? Already unmute, of course. But Mostly already unmute. Yeah, I already unmuted her. Mm. Mother, can you hear us? Can you? Did she type the question? Did she? Can she type it in the chat? Um, Mother, can you please type the question in the chat? We can read out for you. Is she typing? No? She said... She said yes, I will try. Oh, well, yes. it's going to take too long, I huh? mm. Um. 
Is this is this her question? No, it's from a doing. Krishna said in time destroy our grief. Uh, Maharaj, uh, the question is here. In the beginning, we do not know of many things in Krishna consciousness when we first reach uh, to. So we are attracted to become devotees. So how do we reconcile the uh, fact that we are seen by giving our money to family members who are not devotees? We use it for activities like eating meat and other stuff. Yes, it, it's a common situation. What can we say, you know? I mean, Krishna understands our situation. He knows our difficulties. You, you have to hope that, you know, soon your children, your children are going to grow up and they're going to be independent. And they can, then they can give you money and you can use their money for Krishna. Just now you're supporting them, but as they, once they start working, then they have to support you. So you can greatly benefit them. Even Prabhupada had these problems. Prabhupada's family were not much devoted. His wife was not very much interested and she would drink tea and even Prabhupada suspected that one time she sold his books to get money to buy biscuits to drink tea. And so eventually Prabhupada left home. And so eventually you can also leave home, go and live in Vrindavan, go and live, take shelter of the devotees. Better than staying where people are cooking meat, if especially they may eat even cow, cow meat and things like that, it's so terrible. So, maybe we hope before the end of life you can get the chance to get away from these things, to be, not to be close to all of that. This is karma, this is our karma which we have because before becoming devotees we had a lot of karma, we didn't know all of these things, so, you know, it's unfortunate. But we have to understand the nature of this world, that there's suffering. But if we do devotional service, if we, come, if we become fixed in devotional service and give up all of these things, then no, we get rid of all that, free of all that karma. Mm. 
you, but you cannot go on just maintaining people to eat meat and drink and do sinful things. It's not helping you. It's not helping them, it's not helping you. So we saw Ajamil. Ajamil left home. He left home, he left his wife, he, he left that woman who, the, you know, the low class woman who he'd, he'd given up his own wife and he was living with the other woman and then they had so many children. But Ajamil just left home, went away, he went and stayed in the temple. He went and he was able to get perfection by the end of life. Okay, so thank you very much for all these questions. Certainly. And tomorrow night we'll have chapter 12. So thank you Archana for your translation and thank also the for Nepali translation, Nimai Sachi Sutta I think is it? Or is it Sakya? Yeah. Um, thank you very much. All the devotees back up. Very kind. So, Srila Prabhupada ki. Yeah. Go back to Vrinda ki. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Yes.